What's up guys, hope you're doing okay. Today we're going to be taking a look at Galaxy S20 ROM for Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now guys, this time around Samsung comes in with loads of nifty features, adding in a lot of customization onto your fingertips. What that means is that now you can pretty much change the entire look of your phone without having any third party app installed onto your device. On top of that, this ROM performs absolutely like a killer when it comes to the overall speed and performance. Now guys, before you go ahead and begin with this video, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest Galaxy Note 5 updates. Guys, I'm gonna start this video with initially giving you guys a small review of the ROM so you can have an idea that what this phone will offer you and in the end I'll show you how to install it. Alright, that being said, let me first of all show you the Android version this ROM is running on. So over here you can see that we are on Android 9.0 Pi and fortunately the developer of this ROM just mentioned that he is actually working on upgrading this ROM to Android 10 which is pretty nice so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and whenever any such update will come I'll definitely Definitely let you guys know. Alright, let me just show you the new gestures that we have gotten in addition to the navigation gesture bar at the bottom. So just like Google Pixel 4 devices, now you can use back gestures. And what I mean by that is you can simply go back by swiping across either side of the screen just like that. You can also have multiple actions to the side gestures, like as of now if I swipe across the side and then swipe up, that's going to open up the task manager, pretty nice. There is a lot more that you can play around with, like sizing the gesture bar, altering its position, changing actions to the gestures and a lot more inside of the One Hand Operation Plus app. Next up, let's take a look at yet another nifty addition into the ROM, the customization. Well when it comes to the lock screen, now not only you have a good variety of different clock features faces to go with, but you also have the freedom to change the position of your clock and other relevant stuff in a matter of seconds with easy configuration. Now you can also go ahead and choose what should be visible on your lock screen like the notifications, music controller or lock button. And another great offering of this ROM is that it gives you the notifications on the lock screen with just a single swipe up on the arrow just like that. And I know that's something which came out on iOS devices first long time ago but now that we have it here in our Galaxy Note 5 devices, it really adds a lot more comfort. Next up, we have got some new theming options for the notification panel. As you can see, I'm rocking a semi-transparent background with some accent colors going on over here and everything literally looks super clean. You can only change the opacity of the background, but you can also have different color layouts as per your taste by simply playing around in the quick panel star app. Getting ahead, you can also decide what should be displayed in the status bar. You can also change the position of your clock in it, something that we never saw earlier in the previous Samsung ROMs. It's not all about the S20 experience that you'll be getting with this ROM, matter of fact you will also be getting some goodies from the Galaxy Note 10 just like this new S Pen interface. Everything works just as fine and I would definitely recommend you guys checking this out. Next up we have the brand new Edge Lighting Plus with the S20 ROM bringing in even more cool looking lighting effects like Boomerang, Firefox and Celebrate. Now to mention the advanced options which allow you to further tweak your lighting effects like lighting width and its duration. And guys, how can I miss out the mighty task manager of this ROM coming in with the new stack of the cars? Well, as you can see, the task manager looks pretty nice and it kind of feels as if I'm using a 120Hz panel, <laughs> although it's not because of the super smooth animations. You can also choose in different card layouts like Caroso, Grid or Vertical Stack with different scrolling effects from the Task Changer app. Well guys, if you thought that's all about the customization part, well you gotta be a little more as right now I'm gonna be showing you the new theme park app offered by Samsung that lets you theme up your system according to your desired wallpaper. So for the demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and use the app in front of you guys. So let's go with the current wallpaper. So over here you can see that the app has matched up the colors of the wallpaper with the elements of the system which looks pretty nice. You can also change the main color at the bottom as per your style. You can also change the icons. So there's a lot going on over here. As a whole, I absolutely love this app. 
And guys, I cannot go ahead and show you each and every single thing about this ROM. You have to take a look at other stuff on your own. Now guys, when it comes to the battery timing, well, this ROM is pretty much giving me the same, if not better battery timing than the stock ROM, which is pretty nice. And when it comes to the bugs, well, there are some issues associated with the camera app. When you will first install this ROM and try on opening the camera app, it's gonna crash straight away. Uh, so you have to configure some settings in order to get this app perfectly working. I'm gonna show you all that, but at the very end of this video after I'm done showing you how to install this ROM onto the device. So watch the video till the very end so you have no issues. Alright guys, so in order to install this ROM onto your devices, you're gonna need some files. I'm gonna be providing the download links for all the required files into the description of this video. So go over there, download the files and save them up onto the respective devices. After you're done doing that, power off your phone and then you have to boot up inside of the download mode. That you can do by pressing and holding the power key, home key and volume down key simultaneously and wait for a couple of seconds and here you are. All right guys, so once you have booted up inside of the download mode, the next thing you gotta do is go ahead and connect your phone with PC. So let me just go ahead and connect mine. All right, after you're done doing that, just go ahead and open up the Odon application. All right, so over here, um, once you are in finally inside of the Odin application with your phone connected, uh, you gotta press the volume up key to continue, all right. Once you have done that, uh, you can go ahead and tap on the options button and then uh, uncheck this auto reboot option over here. All right. So once you have done all of these things, go ahead and tap on AP and from over here, you got to select your twerp file. All right. So after selecting the twerp file, you can go ahead and tap on the start button to begin with the flashing process. All right. Uh, that's going to take a little while and there we go. So as you can see, the file has been successfully flashed and now you can go ahead and unplug your phone. All right. So at this point, what we got to do, we have to restart our phone uh, to essentially get out of this download mode. And uh, let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. So uh, all you got to do is press and hold the power key, home key and volume down key. Um, until the black screen appears and then uh, we have to boot up inside of the recovery mode with pretty much the same combo but this time around we're going to be pressing the volume up key so as you can see I am holding the power sorry the um, volume up key uh, with addition to the other keys and here we are in the uh, recovery mode and now we can go ahead and proceed with the um, other stuff so let me just go ahead and show you what you got to do all right, guys, so once you are inside of the Torp Recovery, go ahead and tap on Vibe, Advanced Wipe. Here, select these items off of that. Go ahead and swipe to wipe them up. Next up, you have to move to the location where you have saved up your ROM file. So for me, it's over here. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. Now that is gonna be taking a little while and we will eventually be booted up inside of the ROM installer. All right, guys, so over here, tap next. I agree with all above, tap next again. Uh, so here's the change like if you want to rate it go ahead and do that otherwise go ahead and tap next okay and Over here you have got some main options. Uh, I'm going to be going with the first option Yes, I want to do a full wipe. So over here you have the boot animations option of course I'm going to be going with the Samsung black boot animation and in the others tab you have to select both of these uh, options since um, these are very very important uh, if in any case um, there there goes something wrong, you have the option to restore your EFS files. All right, tap next over here. So this is one of the most important steps. You gotta select your device model number over here. Since I'm having a single SIM international variant, of course I'm gonna be going with these options. So go ahead and tap next off of that. So here you gotta choose your CSC. So since I am in UAE, I will definitely be going with XSG, right? Tap next over here. So over here you have got some more uh, stuff to choose. Uh, so yeah, just uh, select whatever you wanna have and I would love to have a lot of stuff actually. So I'm gonna be selecting a lot of stuff over here. Um, yeah, good luck is very important as that is going to be giving us a lot of features like the one hand operation plus um, functionality. So here you have some CSC features. So go ahead and select whatever you want to have. 
and Android 10 apps. Of course, man, I would love to have all of these. All right, tap next over here. We've got some bloatware. I am a huge fan of Samsung apps, so how can I not select any of these apps? Um, yeah, come on, man. We're gonna go with all of these. All right, tap next, and I guess that's pretty much it. Tap next, and okay, and there you have it. So that is gonna be taking a little while, guys. The installation will probably, probably end in about five minutes or so. So yeah, after you're done doing that, you can go ahead and reboot your system. And let me tell you yet another time, the first boot is gonna be taking a lot of time. It takes usually 30 minutes. All right, guys, so now you can go ahead and reboot your system. And after you have finally gotten your phone booted up, you can go ahead and follow my steps in order to get the camera app working absolutely fine on this device. All right, so I'll meet you after my phone boots up. All right, guys, so now that we have finally installed the ROM onto our devices, it's finally the time that we should go ahead and fix the camera app. So as you can see, if I go ahead and try on opening the camera app, it just doesn't work. So in order to fix it, you have to turn off the default settings for the brightness, um, which are essentially the adaptive brightness settings. So in order to do that, you have to expand the notification panel and then tap on this little arrow. And from there, you have to turn the settings for the adaptive brightness off. All right, go ahead and tap on done off of that. And now if I go ahead and try on opening the camera app, as you can see, it works absolutely fine. So let me just lift up my phone to show you my hand. So as you can see, it's working absolutely fine. However, this is not the complete fix. If you go ahead and try on switching the camera app, the app is gonna crash yet another time. So in order to switch the cameras, all you have to do is uh, press and hold the camera icon and then tap on the selfie button. And that is gonna open up the camera for the selfie mode. Okay, not working. Let's try out yet another time. Um, all right, uh, wait, wait, what am I doing wrong? Let me just go ahead and open up the camera straight away. And here you go. All right, so that is what I was doing wrong. So after um, you are done tapping on the selfie button, go ahead and open up the camera in the normal mode just like that. And that is gonna switch uh, the cameras easily. So as you can see, here is my camera <laughs> on the tripod stand. And now let's get back to the main camera. Let's tap on auto. And yep, here you are. So let me just go ahead and snap some photos. So let's just take a picture of this duck. Let me just go ahead and show you guys the picture. Working absolutely fine. So yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you have any queries, do let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one.